woke up this morning with my mind Stand on Jesus Woke up this morning with my mind Stand on the Lord Woke up this morning with my mind Stand on Jesus Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah Singing and praying with my mind Stand on Jesus Singing and praying with my mind Stand on the Lord Singing and praying with my mind Stand on Jesus Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah Walking and talking with my mind Stand on the Lord Walking, I'm talking with my mind Stand on Jesus Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah I'm singing and praying with my mind Stand on Jesus I'm singing and praying with my mind Stand on the Lord Singing and praying with my mind. Stay home, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew 16, 26. Let's pray. Most merciful God, by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you created humanity anew. Grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then it was said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoiced. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negeb. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seeds for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. Let's take a little time for Lectio Divina. Now, while Jesus was at Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar, a very costly ointment, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when the disciples saw it, they were angry and said, Why this waste? For this ointment could have been sold for a large sum and the money given to the poor. But Jesus was aware of this and said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? She has performed a good service for me. 
For you will always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. By pouring this ointment on my body, she has prepared me for my burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever this good news is proclaimed in the whole world, that she, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Let's read it again. Now, while Jesus was at Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment. She poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when the disciples saw it, they were angry and said, Why this waste? For the ointment could have been sold for a large sum and the money given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? She has performed a good service for me. For you, how, for you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. By pouring this ointment on my body, she has prepared me for burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever this good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Let's read it again. What, what might the Lord be stirring in you? Now, while Jesus was at Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when the disciples saw it, they were angry and said, Why this waste? For the ointment could have been sold for a large sum and the money given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. By pouring this ointment on my body, she has prepared me for burial. Truly, I tell you, Wherever this good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her.
Almighty God, we praise you for sending us your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, 
who set his face toward Jerusalem and found a welcome on that lonely way in the home of Lazarus. We thank you that he who came to serve and give his life as a ransom for many accepted the service of Martha in preparing food for his body and of Mary in preparing that same body for burial. Grant to us the faithful and extravagant hearts that we too may serve you gladly with the sacrifice of hospitality and the fragrance of love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O risen Christ, you are ever with us, interceding for us at the Father's right hand and coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. The poor indeed are always with us, O Lord. May we be found at your coming, feeding you in your hunger, housing you in your homelessness, clothing you in your nakedness, and visiting you in your imprisonment. Free us from the devious calculation of Judas, and enable us to serve your poor in sincerity of heart with justice and compassion. In silent and spoken prayer, we bring before you those people and agencies known to us who seek to serve the poor and work for justice in your world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In silent and spoken prayer, we bring before you all those who, whose loving deeds bring beauty and joy, and those facing grief and death through gentle therapies and fragrant flowers, through hospice care and hospital chaplaincies, and in countless ways. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In silent and spoken prayer, we pray for all artists who seek to shock us into awareness of your world, its beauty and delight, its evil and pain, and to show us glimpses of your divine mystery in drama and painting, broadcasting and writing, dancing and music, especially those known to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. O God, in creation you fashion us in your image. In Christ you reveal us, you reveal to us your love. Through the Holy Spirit you welcome us into the fellowship of believers. We bow in gratitude before you. We constantly distort your image, but still you restore it. We daily betray your love, but still you extend it. We often disrupt fellowship, but still you bless it. Come to us at this time and in this place, O Lord, that your image in us might be revealed, your love for us returned, and our fellowship in Christ renewed. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power 
and the glory forever. Amen. Now hear this benediction. Keep hold of what is good and avoid all forms of evil. May God himself, the God of peace, make you holy through and through and keep you sound in spirit, soul, and body, free of any fault when our Lord Jesus comes. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you. Amen.